Hi everyone, <clears throat> welcome to the third episode of Digital First, brought to you by French Cluster. French Cluster is a pool of French speaking experts based in the United States. We have extensive knowledge of the American markets and want to offer a unique and original alternative to help our community succeed. Members are chosen from different professions and are selected based on their solid experience and proficient skills. Each of them represents an expertise and is a dedicated contact for other professionals in the same field. At French Cluster, we share common goals, self-progress, and to help others in their progression. We aim for leadership, and while we focus on excellence, we also pray, place great emphasis on values such, such as brotherhood and integrity. Today, we speak about Twitter LinkedIn, we will see why these two professional networks can be useful to you, what to focus on when you create or improve your profile, and which resources can help. Do not hesitate to ask your questions in the chat. We will take a few minutes at the end to answer to some of them. But first, let's present ourselves. Hi, Jean-Baptiste. Hi, Berenger. Hi, everyone. Thank you for this introduction. So my name is Jean-Baptiste Piron. Uh, I'm based in Los Angeles. I'm co-founder of the French Cluster, and I worked in the media entertainment for the past 20 years now <laughs> already. And I advise company on how to license good video content, but also on how to communicate with their customers. And hi, I'm Berenger Ferrier. I'm a brand strategist, a CEO of Creavilia, innovation and entrepreneurship guest lecturer at Stupairo. Legal Hackers Friends co-founder, and I'm an expert in innovation marketing. So let's talk about Twitter, Jean-Baptiste. Yes, we will talk about Twitter today. Some of you are familiar with that platform. Some of you don't know uh, nothing about it. So I will try to give you some overview on that media solution launched in 2006 uh, and, and six already in San Francisco. So I divided this presentation in four pillars for who, the objective, the profile setup and the posting. So a look at which types of people and companies use Twitter. Let's see some examples and use cases that can illustrate the heaviest eaters of this social media network. So first the news, you all knew the, the traditional news like CNN, but also uh, Brut, uh, French brand uh, based only on some 100% video and digital and some agencies like Reuters. Some uh, small medium enterprise subject matter experts. So we have two examples here. One is Dot Space, a co-working space in Los Angeles talking about um, the regulations and the safety about COVID-19 and Dallas Yolo Group uh, talking about uh, immigration and regulation on immigration uh, administration. So we have eSport. eSport is very big for Twitter. Uh, Twitter is the place for gaming conversation and connections. And uh, in 2019, there were more than 1.2 billion tweets about gaming. And the fun thing is also that some CEOs from big companies like Riot Games are engaging directly with uh, their customers and their players uh, to be able to, to make it more real and more fun. So we have traditional business as well. So some companies like Telesan use sentences from, from people and from colleagues to, to show their products and, and show their expertise. And we have some fun uh, example as well, like uh, Doritos did uh, a few months ago with a challenge uh, to be able to retweet the, the tweet one million times and to be able to see a, a, a country singer uh, dances. So we have also finance uh, accounts, traditional finance accounts like Bloomberg or Bespoke, where you can track your uh, stock. And of course, uh, last but not least, we have politics. We, you all know the, the Twitter account of uh, Donald uh, Trump, but we have also some uh, fun example with the uh, Democrat candidate Kamala Harris last week who, who arrived in Wisconsin in our Chuck Taylor All-Star sneakers. And uh, that post was trending a lot on Twitter and the sales uh, goes up uh, for all stars, which is very big. So why? A look at the reason behind Twitter use. Let's see some concrete examples that show you Twitter's values. 
So today, uh, Apple is raising uh, new products in their online event uh, keynote in a few minutes. And uh, they are making some teaser uh, since a few, a few days now. And this is a typical, really good example on how to, to do corporate announcements. A not so good one is the one of uh, Elon Musk. So, some weeks ago, uh, he tweeted something about the stock price, uh, meaning that the stock price was too high. And uh, directly after that, the, the shares fell nearly 12%. So this is definitely not something to do uh, with corporate announcements. So one good example of one-to-one -one relationships with clients, uh, Air France uh, gives the possibility for their customer to um, chat directly with them in the private uh, box, uh, private chat. Uh, and uh, I have a story about, a personal story about that. Some, some months ago, I was in, in Paris taking my plane and I was stuck in the train station because of a bombing uh, threat. And uh, I was unable to contact Air France saying that I will be there, I, I need to take my plane. So I used the, the chat box of uh, Air France on Twitter and they replied to me that they will wait for me and my plane waited for me. And I was able to, to board in time and not missing my plane. So your, prof, your profile, it's very important to, to set up a, a nice profile. So the first choice is uh, what type of profile, personal or corporate. Uh, if you have a brand, uh, corporate uh, profile is very good with your brand, uh, but you can use also personal account. And I took an example of the Consulate General of France in, in San Francisco. They have two types of account, one corporate for the consulate and one personal for the Consulate General. So let's see two types of profiles. So my co-speaker here, Béranger, uh, uh, our Twitter account, and a very good friend of the French cluster, Ben Carly, here in Los Angeles. So the first thing very important is to choose your Twitter name, your handle name, um, that identify you with your, with your name and make it re very real. Um, so you can use your, your personal name or you can use uh, something that illustrates what you do, like Ben did with Ben Translates. Um, very important to have a picture, uh, a very good picture, uh, a header um, with your brand, for example, and to be able to be um, confirmed as a verified account, you can put as well your date of birth. So tweeting, how to tweet, is very important as well. So I took three uh, main uh, things. The hashtag, uh, hashtag is a symbol uh, of metadata. Uh, it lets user apply dynamic user generated tagging that helps other user easily find messages with a specific theme or content. So you can use trending hashtags to get more visibility rather than self-created ones that means nothing to the, to the community. So how to tweet and uh, uh, how many times to tweet. So ensure that you tweet often because it offers a short span of relevancy to your followers. And tweeting on weekends is also beneficial. Uh, according to a study, brands get 70 more percent more engagement on weekends as compared to weekdays. Uh, also, you can mention uh, people, you can mention other accounts uh, from influential user or uh, other users. Uh, be attentive and active and respond quickly to your followers, tweet and or, or answer to be able to engage the conversation. So you can post, of course, uh, pictures and video. And when you post picture, it has an impact, a big impact on, on your engagement. So you get 80% uh, more engagement when you post with a picture. So don't forget to do that. So how to follow and how to follow back? A uh, very important question that comes a lot. So when you start, you can follow brands, users that are related to your industry, your type of business. Uh, you can also follow your competitors, but do it when you have enough followers yourself. Uh, some source of information, media, newspapers, industry related accounts. Some official accounts of government is good as well. Fun ac accounts are good, but never forget that the information is public, so don't do it too much. 
to be followed back. Uh, let's be honest, it takes time unless you have a well-known brand. So be patient, engage in your conversation with people on Twitter and get noticed. Be sure to post on a regular basis. Um, some tools are also available to program your posting. And don't think of buying fake followers because it can be tempting, but uh, sometimes it will never add any value to your business and your account can be suspended uh, by uh, Twitter if they notice that. And uh, I have a, a page of resource and tools, uh, TweetDeck, uh, Outsuit, uh, Circle Boom. Uh, those links are very useful to, to be able to schedule your posting and be able to use your, your account uh, more easily. And we will share this uh, presentation uh, by email after that. So that's it for me. And I, I take the opportunity to, to pass the mic to Béranger for LinkedIn. Thank you, Jean-Baptiste. And um, I'm going to share my screen, actually. So maybe it will be easier for me, if you don't mind. OK. Um, so I'm going to share it. If you see, up, share. Share, share. Let's see if you can see it in full screen. I yep. can see it, so I think the audience can see it as well. Perfect. Good. So let's talk about LinkedIn, the professional network, and we're going to share this um, speech into four chapters. The first uh, is going to be about benefits, the second is going to be about the features. The second one is how to set up your profile. And also we're gonna give you some suggestions at the end. Again, you can ask your questions in the chat so we can answer them, you know, uh, while we are done. Um, so the first uh, chapter is about um, to have a look at whether having a LinkedIn profile can be key for your career and or your company. Um, first, you have to know that LinkedIn is like a huge professional network, 675 million uh, users, and uh, makes up more than 50% of all social traffic to B2B websites and blogs. Means that it's the number one social media for professional marketers. Just keep that in mind. I mean, it's a huge uh, key figure. Um, about the personal branding, because sometimes you can use Twitter for only your own personal branding. Um, just for you to know that 90 million LinkedIn users are senior level influencers and 63 million are in decision making positions. Means that you can position yourself as a legit professional when you have your own uh, personal account and profile page. Uh, we give you this example of Stefan. He has a nice profile banner. He has a nice portrait photo made by a professional photographer. Um, he studied his title, you know, like his associate financial advisor. Uh, and he also has a small sentence, but it's better than nothing, uh, to talk about him, you know, like financial planner and investment specialist. So it means that this is an example of a good profile. Um, you can also use LinkedIn for company legitimacy. And when you see some people in their experience feed, you see that sometimes the company has a professional page and sometimes it doesn't. When you have a, profit, a corporate page, like a Mary Press, for example, on the left, um, it means that you can you know, express the values of the company. But in the example of Healthy Financial Planning LLC, at the bottom, uh, you can see that when you click on it, you just will find some people who were part of the company, but there is not any more corporate pro profile page and you know that less professional. So think about having a company profile page, it helps a lot. The second chapter is about to have a look at which functions are valuable on LinkedIn and you know some difference between some features. Um, you can use LinkedIn for notoriety. LinkedIn is the number one channel B2B marketers use to distribute content at 94%. I mean, that's again, a huge fig figure number. So let's look at French cluster. When we, like today, we publish, we post uh, a webinar uh, episode, uh, we post it on several social media channels, but also on LinkedIn. It's a way for us to reach out to our professional community. And in the example of the right, like Dalisio Law Group, they also post something on their 
website blog and then they share it on LinkedIn. So this is for notoriety, to grow your, your community. You can also use LinkedIn for recruiting or being recruited. On the left, you see that uh, this huge interesting number, 95% of recruiters use LinkedIn regularly and there are 100 million job applications on LinkedIn every month. So if you want to be hired, uh, it's interesting, if you want to hire, sorry, it's interesting to post a job, put the description and wait for candidates. You also have paying options if you want to go faster. And on the right, uh, just for you to know that there are 30 million companies on LinkedIn and 20 million job open job listings means that if you are looking for a job, go to the company page and look at all the offers. I mean, that's the basics of LinkedIn. For sure, you can go deeper and um, investigate into all the features, but these are very useful features. Also about lead generation, you can use LinkedIn to develop your sales. It depends you know, on of your type of business, but just for you to know again, that 79% of B2B marketers see LinkedIn as an effective source of lead generation, and 80% of B2B leads come from LinkedIn versus 13% on Twitter and 7% on, on Facebook. So as you may know, LinkedIn message ads deliver a 40% convention rate, that's very huge. And you see sometimes, you know, some emails sent by people who want to sell you some services and it's written and sponsored, you know, like you see on the top. And also you can see some banners or, you know, some uh, visuals ads on the right or somewhere else. So these are paying options, but at least you can be sure that you reach out to your professional network. You can also use LinkedIn for many more options, uh, like if you want to network, mostly if you want to access people outside your current network. Uh, you can find mentors, you can mentor people, you can ask professional advice and feedbacks, you can create or join some groups of common interests, and to educate yourself, uh, to learn something, to educate people, and you know, and so on and so on. Just for you to know that, uh, in average, uh, someone who uses LinkedIn like every day uses it in average 17 minutes per month. So that's not, you know. Compared to Facebook, it's just nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, then about so how to set up your profile as a company or an, an individual. Um, LinkedIn profiles with professional headshots get 14 times more profile views, means go to see a photographer, hire a photographer, or, you know, like at least a friend of yours, um, to get a very nice photo. And don't use the word specialized because it's the most overused profile word in LinkedIn. So on the left, you see like the random and not very uh, developed uh, LinkedIn profile. And on the right, you have a nice example of Stefan, a French custom member. He has, like, like the previous Stefan, a nice banner, a nice profile photo. Um, he has also um, a short bio. So this is the, the following page about the bio. Uh, you know, like you see Alain on the left has a shorter bio, but at least he's writes about what he does. Sharon on the right chose to develop a bit more her bio. So you can do both. I mean, it depends on what, how you feel it. Um, but it's important to have some, something that describes who you are or you know, what you focus on. About the experience, go into the details. Again, on the left, you see a bad example of just, you know, list of companies. And on the right, you can see that it's useful to describe what you do in your current mission. And finally, about the recommendation, it's important to, you know, with your own network, you can endorse people for some skills and you can also recommend, like write a recommendation. And usually you do it and they do it for you. Uh, and so it's nice because it's like a review on your website. It's people who used to work with you or for you, and it can be useful to see your value. Uh, finally, it's about, we wanted you know, to talk about the suggested ideas to go further and refine the way you can post and share. Um, three things to just keep in mind. Which kind of content? Usually it's better to post industry insights because six out of 10 users Actively, actively look for it. How to and list post perform the best on LinkedIn. 
articles without video perform better than those with video. And if you want to post a video, just for you to know that the video is limited to 10 minutes on LinkedIn. So unless you share a YouTube link, otherwise you have to uh, crop your video to 10 minutes. And also, if it's a too long post structure, like uh, add some uh, divisions, uh, header headings, uh, five, seven, nine headings, perform the best, not just a long you know, uh, text. Um, second thing to keep in mind is the frequency. Only 3 million LinkedIn users share, share content on a weekly basis, means that people can share content, but maybe once a month it's good. I mean, that's my interpretation of these statistics. So don't post every day because you're gonna get your community just like, okay, that, that's too much. Um, take, the look, take the time for it. You have some applications like Loomly, for, for example, um, it, you can uh, do an editorial calendar and you can schedule your post, you know, to last in time and take, take the time to do it properly. And the third thing to, to talk about, to think about is the best moment to post. So you have statistics again, I mean, I'm not creating anything, it's uh, from Sprout Social. And they say that on LinkedIn, it's better to post on a Wednesday, Thursday, the Friday, mostly, you know, in the mornings or until, you know, the beginning of the afternoon, but not too early and not during the weekend compared to Twitter. Uh, and the last uh, slide I wanted to, to show you is about, if you want to go further, you can use LinkedIn Analytics. There is a powerful tool inside LinkedIn, actually. Uh, you have to know, you know how to use it, but you can find some resources. So we're gonna send you this PDF and also we can post these resources on the YouTube uh, comments. Uh, you can educate yourself, like uh, the tactics uh, by Hootshoot, uh, used to grow uh, our uh, LinkedIn audience, for example. Uh, and you can work with professionals. You can hire a copywriter like Joseph. Uh, we often work with Joseph, actually, for other kind of uh, projects. But Joseph is also a copywriter who helps people um, copyright, uh, write uh, their short bio on LinkedIn to be very effective and go to the go to the point. So these are some resources you can use to boost your LinkedIn profile. So we are done about LinkedIn, and uh, we can uh, answer some question and answer. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna read this. some uh, previously by. Yes? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, previously by email, we, we received two, two questions. Um, I, have, I can start with you, maybe, Beranger. So it's about LinkedIn. So one question was, should I invest in LinkedIn ads for my company? Yeah, so for sure you can. But before investing in ad campaigns, just make sure you did the bare minimum and that your company profile is optimized. Sometimes, when you post regular content that is accurate and interesting for your audience, it will help to grow your community organically. It means it takes more time to do it, but it can be more efficient. Uh, if you invest in the ads, just make sure you work with a professional to be sure that every, to make sure that every dollar you spend is well used and follows a good strategy. Otherwise, you know, it's not worth it. Yeah, sure. And uh, we we receive another question regarding Twitter. Yeah, I see, I see it. I can I can tell it if yeah. you want. Um, so is Twitter mandatory if you create a startup or just begin with a project? Of course, it's not mandatory, but it's very useful tool to raise awareness and to be able to be uh, informed of what uh, the competition does and to be present on on, on the network. So. Do not hesitate when you launch your startup to be present on these professional tools like Twitter or LinkedIn. Uh, Facebook, of course, is as well uh, important, but I think LinkedIn and Twitter is, is essential for your business when you start a startup. Perfect. Okay, thank you, Jean-Baptiste. Um, I think we are done. Um, I'm just gonna share yeah. my screen just to finish. Um, so I think we, we don't have any more questions, so this episode is done. Uh, thank you, Jean-Baptiste, uh, and thank you to all your audience, audience today. Uh, we will post this content soon on the French Cluster uh, YouTube channel. Do not hesitate to like and share, and we are happy if this episode has been useful to you. Stay safe and take care.
Bye bye. Thank you, Angèle. Thank you, Toro. Bye bye. Thank you, Francis. Bye bye.